the Thames River. And it's very, very dangerous. It was approved on March 6 by the National Energy Board to reverse the flow, to increase the pressure. It's 38 years old, so it's not a new pipeline. And also it's been approved for dill bit, which is bitumen uh, thinned with a very flammable solvent to make it flow better. Today's goal is to protect the Thames River um, because there have been 800 spills by Enridge pipelines so far, probably a lot more. Um, many people that ought to know what they're talking about say it's a spill waiting to happen, and so it's very, very dangerous. We want to educate people. So many times people will say, what, the Enbridge Pipeline? It flows near London? We didn't know that. So we'll be handing out maps that show exactly where the pipeline is, and also a website where they can go to look at the Not Worth the, the Risk report which is extensive and tells exactly why we should all be worried and we should be asking Premier Wynne to demand an independent environmental assessment which has not been which has not happened. They're ready to go ahead with it without an independent environmental assessment. Yes, I'd say this is an example of direct action. Um, we're not just a bunch of hippie protesters. We already hand delivered the Not Worth the Risk report, which is 20 pages, to every city councilor and to all three MPPs. Um, we have written letters, all sorts of stuff, and this is happening all over southern Ontario, not just in London. We're, we're one of many communities that the pipeline goes just close to or even through, such as West York. Thank <laughs> you.